A fire that left six people homeless has been ruled arson. Flames, smoke and water destroyed several units on the second floor of an apartment building in McKeesport. Tonight, investigators are trying to figure out who's responsible. Ralph Ainati explains why some people who lived in the building originally thought the fire was one big joke. Linda Wilson heard the fire alarm going off inside her apartment building in the middle of the night. Her brother, Randy, thought it was a prank and didn't want to get out of bed. I'm like, Randy, get up, get up, there's a fire. And I, the whole window was lit up. And there was fire engines from the end of that block all the way to the corner. And I said, no, Randolph, nobody play, because sometimes they play and, and, and pull the bell and make us run out. I said, no, Randolph, this is serious. They ran outside and joined their neighbors out in the cold. It was really uncomfortable because some people have babies and they were sitting out here freezing. You know, things like that, they can catch cold, serious cold. There's a guy in a wheelchair, he had to come out, you know, and I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad everybody made it out safely. The McKeesport fire chief said at first they thought someone was trapped, but that turned out not to be the case. Well, the original call was for possible entrapment. Uh, crews arrived on scene uh, in the process of uh, fire suppression. They did do a primary search and uh, they didn't find anybody at all. Uh, all occupants actually were out of the building at that time. Fire crews saw right away there may be something suspicious about this fire. It looked like we had two fire rooms, uh, so it, it could have been extension. But again, the county fire marshal will be the one investigating to make that determination. And after investigating, the fire marshal did determine it is a case of arson. Flames, smoke and water destroyed about six units on the second floor. People lived inside only three of them. The Red Cross will now find a place for four adults and two kids to stay. Ralph Iannotti, KDKA News.